Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian and I manage the Cardano team at Emergo. In this video, I want to talk about the recent spike in traffic on Yoroi that caused Yoroi to slow down a bit for processing transactions. And I'm going to explain a bit about why this happened and how we plan to avoid this issue going forward. So first I want to explain the difference between a full node and a light wallet. I think a lot of people don't understand the difference that well, and I think this will help a lot of people uh, avoid this issue going forward. So a full node means that you download a full copy of the blockchain to your computer. That means that whenever you're creating a transaction or looking at your transaction history, it's computed entirely based off what you have stored in your computer. And so as long as the Cardano network is still working well, like it was yesterday, there's no issue on the Cardano network itself, uh, you're still able to send transactions. Now, Yoroi works differently. Yoroi is what is called a light wallet which means that Emergo runs servers and on Yoroi, you have your private keys safely stored in Yoroi and you generate addresses from these private keys and you ask the Yoroi server, hey, these are my addresses. What is the current transaction history for my addresses and the Yoroi server response? So that means that for Yoroi, we need to make sure we have enough servers to manage all the users that are currently online, which is a lot. Yoroi has you know, a six digit number of users. Every second we get hundreds of requests. This is uh, not cheap to uh, manage servers to handle all this traffic. And so that's why we can't just always launch more servers ahead of time and you say, okay, let's just triple the number of servers and just leave it at that because this would be expensive and having more servers doesn't actually give a better user experience unless you actually have the traffic to warrant it. So if you look at every company, every website, they all tend to have a certain amount of leeway and the amount of servers they run so they can handle small spikes. And anything uh, beyond small spikes, they need to have you know dynamic scaling, and you know some sort of systems to handle spikes the best as possible. And so, for Yoroi, historically, if you look at the Cardano blockchain, we've had you know in growth in users over time, and a few known spikes. So what that means is that you know as the number of, of Cardano users grows over time. We can easily look at the trend and say, okay, we need to add more servers because in a few weeks, there's going to be enough users to, to warrant it. And whenever there's a spike, for example, a hard fork coming up, this is a known event where you know there's a hard fork coming up. We know there's going to be more users coming in and checking out the hard fork. And so we know that we can, okay, this event's coming up, so let's spin up some servers, servers ahead of time. So historically in Cardano, we've had, you know, known user growth and mostly known spikes. But since the Mary hard fork, we're into a new paradigm Cardano where you know different companies different people are launching new tokens doing sales you know soon there's gonna be smart contracts so this whole new world and there's no way for us to really 100 percent predict what's going to happen now see part of the strategy for predicting spikes is going to be trying to work closer with you know companies and people doing large events on the cardano blockchain and making sure we're ahead of that, uh, aware of that ahead of time so we can properly react uh, but part of that will have to be changing architecture and reviewing architecture to make sure we can handle spikes as, uh, as best we can. So that means we're going to have to work on our dynamic system to make sure we can spin up new nodes faster. Uh, this is going to be uh, trying to make sure we can reduce costs to uh, make these spikes uh, st stay under our existing budget. And there's a whole a bunch of things. I don't want to go over all of them with you, but we're working on a plan uh, to avoid this happening uh, as often or ever if, if possible. And so, you know, these spikes are sometimes predictable and sometimes not. And whenever we can't predict these spikes, we're gonna, you know, do our best to handle it. Obviously, I apologize to people who want to get an NFT and couldn't due to um, slowdowns in the Euro extension or the Euro mobile because of the server issue. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've now entered into a new paradigm Cardano. The previous NFTs, the traffic was, you know, handled just fine. Uh, but it's clear now that as we have more and more people launching tokens, there's going to be more and more uh, large scale events and we're going to have to handle these the best we can. So we'll, we'll do our best. We'll keep the community updated on the work we do. And uh, thank you for, for being a Yodo user.